Uh, well, I just found out something that I, Dave Morales from Kiss FM. That's I amazing. I was on after Kid Craddock. I probably, yeah, Kid Craddock in the morning. Yes, and totally. I was the music director, and I was actually did the last hour with Kid, Kelly, and Al. And uh, yeah, that's in fact, that's my awesome. So I grew up listening to you. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Yeah. But I'm from Houston. Yeah, I'm so. from Dallas. Right we can on. still be friends. And we can still be friends. Mm -hmm. I was going to walk in and say the first thing I was going to say was like, I'm scared to be here. because. Are you still? I, well, you're cool, <laughs> but she's nuts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, she's broken. She's intense, definitely. Did it feel that, that way? Could you feel the, you know, a little of the intensity playing this character? Yeah. 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 I mean, like as an actor, as a human being, I understand in my brain that it's not real. Like I under I understand that it's not happening, but when you convince yourself that you're in a situation, you feel those feelings in your body as a living creature, like you feel it. You have to, otherwise it's not real. So even though I know that it's not, when you feel it, it feels real. So all of the intensity that I felt for the character, I felt. I think one of the scary things too is that, you know, you hear this play out in the news every now and then. Not this specific, you know, of a story. <laughs> do but, you? No, but you do. You hear about things that happen. I do. I'm, in, I'm on the, that, well, yeah. I'm not in the news. Yeah. <laughs> I talk about the news. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, but you know, this could happen. I think, is that another element to you that kind of makes it feel like, wow, it's just. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think that one of the things that this, this script does really well is that it sets it up perfectly. That it's a happy couple who loves each other and they have good jobs and they're successful and then they have this girl who's sweet and, you know, it's his sperm and her egg and everything seems like it should go perfectly. And so then I think everybody can relate to that and they're on your team. Like right then, that then they're willing to take the ride with us. I can't imagine what the audition was like yeah. for this role. What, tell me what you were thinking when you walk into um, I was thinking, wow, this is a lot to do in one audition. I'm going to do it one scene at a time. Okay. Because mm -hmm. they had me do scenes from the beginning and the end, so I kind of I just had to show the whole range, and uh, I just imagined that I was there. I just put myself in the situation. I just wanted to make it authentic, um, and I really felt what she was feeling. And then after, I remember I was walking away, and I just I did the scene where I'm like screaming and yelling and crying, and then I walk out the door. And uh, I was like, bye, thank you, have a good day. And Twinkie was like, how do you do that? How do you go from all that crazy to bye, have a good day? And I was like, I don't know, bye. You're like, that's what I do. Yeah. All right, you're from Texas, Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Just up this up 45. Yeah. You filmed in New Orleans, which is in I our did. neighborhood backyard. Really. I know. My, so, yeah, my aunt came, drove up and came visit me. But I read there were a lot of bugs. And oh, my God. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, like it, it's like gnats, except they're mosquitoes. So they're gnats who want your blood. It was so it was, it was a lot of bugs um, and the humidity. And but I love New Orleans. Like that was just that was you know payoff for like great music. We were there during Mardi Gras, so I could look outside my window, sit down on my balcony, and see the parades go by and the food and the essence of the city. I think is a character in itself in the film.